Rano Ali Nazire, Ushta Bolo Ortege, Vita Bolo Bachege. In 2017, only one out of every four children had access to preschool education. Some had to travel far to attend preschool. But most children didn't go to preschool at all. But that was before. Now, the number of kindergartens have increased. Before, all we did was play here. Now, we can go to preschool. We used to travel far to go to kindergarten. But now, kindergarten has come to us. I used to visit my friend's house. And now, we study and we learn there. Today, most of my friends attend kindergarten. There are now five times as many kindergartens as there were before. With the help of the government, more non-public preschools have opened. My parents say that the government has spent $818 million on all this. And that's only for the year 2021. That's 1.26% of our country's GDP, 5.8% of the country's annual budget, or a total of 25.1% of the budget for education. And how much is that chocolate? A lot! The number of teachers has increased as well. There used to be 58,400 teachers. Now, there are 134,000 in school, we don't just sit in class, we learn by playing. Our teachers help us not only to get good grades, but to learn new skills. We learn to communicate with the world around us in different ways. We discover who we are, our strengths, our weaknesses, our role in society, and how to behave in front of other adults and among other kids. And most importantly, it is all child-centered, so we are a priority now. And we also learn while playing. However, there is still a lot to be done. Eight out of ten children will attend kindergarten by 2026. By 2025, we want all six-year-old kids to enroll in kindergarten. We want everyone to have equal opportunities from the very start. Every single kid! And we want this to be global. Come to Uzbekistan. Visit me and my friends in Tashkent, Samarkand, Kiva, and Bukhara. Join us in discussing and making plans for the next 10 years in areas of policy and governance. Hold child approach, educators, and workforce, innovations, and well-being. See you in Uzbekistan.